Good day everyone, and you're here watching in today with Rai Leo. We're back and uh, welcome once again sa lahat ng nanonood sa channel na ito, Twirl, Today with Rai Leo. At ngayon naman ay pagpapatuloy natin kung ano ang mga requirements. Basic ito pero mga mahalalagang requirements din bago mag-apply bilang virtual assistant. Bago tayo magpatuloy, never forget to uh, click like and at the same time write down all of your comments and of course, subscribe to this channel para kung meron tayong video uploads and newly video uploads, kayo yung unang makakapanood nito and of course, uh, marami pa kayong matutunan soon sa mga videos na gagawin ko. So, let's get started. Una sa lahat, dapat meron kayong computer. It's either a laptop or a desktop. Naalala ko noon, nung una pa ako nag-apply, that was year 2010, na kung saan wala akong internet connection, wala rin akong desktop or laptop. So, yung ginawa ko, nasa internet cafe lang ako, doon ako nag-apply. Pero ngayon, iba na talaga. Maraming improvement na. So, kinakailangan mo and one of the requirements na kung ibabrowse mo, maghanap ka ng uh, client, kinakailangan na talaga nila ng desktop or laptop. And sometimes nga, merong client na nag uh, re require talaga ng mga specific uh, uh, type of uh, computers or specification ng computer like Kailangan talaga ng iCore 3, iCore 5, iCore 7, depending on what will be the task. Of course, kasi, like for example, when you are into video editing, so kailangan higher talaga yung specs ng computer na kinakailangan. But uh, mostly, Core i3 would uh, be uh, okay na siya uh, to start with as a virtual assistant. So, uh, uh, yun. Very strict kasi na ngayon yung mga clients na naghahanap bilang kanilang uh, uh, employee as a virtual assistant. Okay, so yung pangalawa, kinakailangan talaga na meron kayo ng existing internet connection. Hindi lang internet connection pero kinakailangan din na good or excellent speed internet connection. Na kung saan, Dapat kailangan talaga rin na naka-wired. For the sake of uh, those who are non-techy, yung tinatawag na wired ay meron kayong modem provided by your internet uh, provider na kung saan uh, one or the uh, one end of the wire is connected to the modem and uh, the other end of the wire is connected to your uh, computer. So, hindi pwedeng Wi-Fi kasi pag Wi-Fi, mostly uh, you will encounter your ten, uh, intermittent um, connection. So, kinakailangan talaga na wired. And mostly pa rin, pag nag-apply ka, yung during the process of your application, like for example, uh, after the initial interview, kinakailangan nyo talaga na, na ano, ng speed test na kung saan um, sa speed test doon malalaman yung yung upload speed at saka download speed nyo kasi one of the requirements din yun na kinakailangan ng client so yun yun and uh, next we have um, email Email is one of the important uh, requirement then or dapat may meron ka ng email account kasi yung email account ito yung gagamitin mo sa pag-register or pag-sign up sa mga iba't ibang website na naghahanap ng mga uh, applicants ng mga virtual assistants. Okay? Uh, later on I will give you different websites wherein you can register or uh, sign in and um, fill up all of the information na kung saan and then browse all the jobs na sa tingin nyo kaya nyo and then uh, just wait for the reply from different agencies or at the same time uh, from the client itself. 
All right, so that will, that's uh, number three. And then to continue, we have, or you must have a, of course, resume. Yung uh, resume dito ay nakalagay yung lahat mo ng mga uh, data and most specially your skill set na kung saan kung mababasa ng uh, client yung resume mo, alam niya kung anong pwede mong maibigay mo sa company at the same time kung ano yung magagawa mo bilang isang virtual assistant. And on the other hand, uh, during the interview also, they can uh, determine or know na kung ano pa yung pwede nilang ibigay sa'yo na mga task not only based on your skill set but of course um, they will really try to uh, look uh, something na kung saan uh, hindi mo pa ginagawa na sa tingin nila pwede at kayang kaya mong gawin. Panglima, dapat meron kang uh, Skype account. Yung Skype account, ito yung gagamitin mo during the one-on-one -on -one interview with the client. Kasi, syempre, uh, it's your time to uh, give to your client the overview about yourself, your skills, what you can do to the company, your character, and uh, what will you offer to the company uh, as a virtual assistant. So, kinakailangan talaga ng uh, Skype account. There are other clients na iba nga, direct na lang na work. Uh, but uh, I do recommend na kinakailangan nyo talaga if otherwise, uh, dapat talaga magkaroon kayo ng one-on-one -on -one interview with the client kasi with this interview, one-on-one -on -one, uh, interview with the client, you will have or you will have the chance at the same time, uh, it's one way to build trust between you and your client na kung saan during the interview at least uh, mag, uh, meron na kayong idea sa isa't isa uh, kung anong gusto kayo ng client ano yung uh, li, uh, nilulook forward niya bilang isang sa isang uh, virtual assistant at the same time in your end alam mo rin kung ano yung gusto ng client so that you can perform your best at the same time give your best and of course, the rest will be, it's all about all of your resources para mapaganda yung mga output mo aside from mga tasks na binibigay sa'yo ng clients. So, yun yun. Uh, Skype is also one of the uh, uh, most important requirement. And of course, um, the last but not the least, syempre, yung kinakailangan yung uh, mode of payment that is through PayPal. Mostly, clients um, send their uh, uh, sahod via PayPal. And uh, some other clients, based on my experience, um, they do send. Also, it's a, another service from PayPal. It's uh, Zoom, X-O-O-M. We're in, dahil dito tayo sa Philippines, they can send via Zoom. Um, and then, you can pick up the money in either uh, M. Luyer, um, Cebuana Luyer, and doon naka iba't ibang mga uh, pwede mong pagkunan ng iyong sahod if otherwise uh, sahod time na. But, and, uh, but kailangan ng uh, PayPal pala. So kasi yung PayPal may, may talagang uh, client na uh, PayPal lang talaga yung, yung mode of payment nila uh, doon. So, eh, otherwise, syempre, pag uh, client, kailangan niya na meron kang dapat na PayPal account. Syempre, hindi yung uh, client mag adjust Dapat ikaw bilang applicant as a virtual assistant, ikaw yung mag adjust So, yun yun. And uh, later on, I will show you how to uh, sign in or register kung wala pa kayong PayPal at the same time. Um, uh, mag-connect uh, kayo ng bank account nyo sa PayPal para uh, if otherwise, pag nag-payday na, yung client mag-send ng money so you can uh, transfer it to your bank account and then you can withdraw anywhere using your debit or ATM card provided by your uh, bank na choice mo. 
and also later on I will recommend what uh, 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 kung anong klaseng bangko yung yung maganda at uh, madali at na pwede mong i-connect sa yung uh, PayPal account. So again, uh, let's have a recap kung ano yung mga kinakailangan. Una sa lahat, of course, uh, computer. It's either laptop or desktop. And then, pangalawa, kailangan ng good internet connection. Pangatlo, we have, we must have, or you must have an email. Pangapat, resume. Panglima, dapat Skype account. At the same time, panganim, you'll have your uh, PayPal ready. So guys, hope this video will give you an overview at least. Otherwise, you'll have a client. So, hindi ka na mag uh, rattle hindi ka na magkakaroon ng problema uh, with regards to your application because, of course, these are the basic, even though basic, these are also the most important requirements na talagang pag nag-apply ka, hinahanap ng client. Alright guys, see you on my next video and may have a wonderful day.